Hi Saj, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today, Saj, for your meditative session, you guys got number 19. Dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. I feel like some of you people, some of you people, I would say people, I don't know why I said that. I, I mean, this could be just like, if you have a dog, this is for you. Uh, I mean, most people have a dog. Maybe you just got a dog. <laughs> Maybe you're thinking of getting a new dog. I don't know, but I, that's for some of you. And then the message that I'm getting with this, be loyal to what you love. Some of you guys are going to shoot your shot. Like some of you guys want to approach. I feel like we're talking about masculines because I'm saying like people, guys. Uh, I feel like some of you guys, yeah, some of you guys are going to choose to like shoot your shot, right? To go forward into maybe a relationship with someone because I feel like you feel very loyal to that person. And it doesn't necessarily matter how much time has elapsed. It doesn't really matter how much, you know, you've gone through with this person, you just are loyal to them, right? And I feel like what it means to be loyal is, I feel more of a companionship thing. It's like, it doesn't really matter who you're with. You still feel some sort of bond to a person, right? And it's like, it doesn't go away. So you're like, at this point, I might as well just go approach that person, right? Because it's like, it doesn't matter how many people you date. It doesn't matter how many people you are with. You're always thinking about one person. And I think it's pretty romantic for a guy to, you know, feel that way about someone, like that loyalty to someone. Like, you know, I really just enjoy this person's company, right? Like I don't see myself with somebody else, right? It's like when you get a dog, I feel like you you try to envision yourself with that dog, right? And you're like, I can't see myself with that dog. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I can never be have a dog like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like that's just not me. Like unless you go to a shelter and you just take, you know, any dog. But I feel like when you picture yourself with a dog, you like look them up and you're like, oh, I wish I, you know, I like this dog. I like this dog. Like I really, I want a really large breed. I want a really small breed. And then I feel like sometimes that can go out the window, right? When you see a dog, <laughs> right? And you're just like, and I think that's kind of what's happening to you. It's like when you're thinking of what you want in a person, right? You think like, I want them to be like this. I want them to be like that. And then I don't know. It's like you met someone and they don't fit that description at all, right? But at the same time, it's like you just fall in love with them. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's kind of what I'm getting with this. It's like, I don't think this person ever was meant to be a part of your plans in a sense. Like, and I don't mean it in a rude way. I just think it's like when you go to pick out a dog, right? Like you have a dog in mind, for, let's just say, like you go on the internet and you're like, oh, I want a large breed uh, and I want them to be like maybe this breed, you know? And then you go to this, you go to the farm or wherever you go and you try to pick one out and then it's like you just fall in love with one and you're like, okay, I'll take it. And it doesn't necessarily, maybe it's like a small breed <laughs> and maybe it's, you know, you didn't even, even look at small breeds because you didn't want a small breed, dude, I'm saying. So it's just interesting to me. I feel like that's what's happening. It's like you go to the farm and you fall in love with some dog and it's just like, I'm taking this dog home, dude, I'm saying. And there's no reason behind it. It's just like the feeling that you got with the dog, right? The feeling that you got when you saw the dog. And that's what I feel like happened with this person. And I think it's really hard for you to understand the feelings you have for this person, which is why I feel like we're doing it in a dog analogy, which I think is kind of funny. So I feel like I really am talking to a masculine. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily have to be. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm getting. So let's pull some more cards.
this is a reading for someone who they went to the farm, right? Like if you listen to the meditative session, like they went to go pick out a dog, they fell in love with a dog. And then I feel like they convinced themselves that this was not their, like they couldn't take this dog, right? It could have been outside influences or their own influences, right? Like, like their own brain that was like telling them, no, I can't have this. There could have definitely been some outside influences though, because we have the five of pentacles and the pentacles is 3d, right? So I think there could have been some sort of someone else was there and that's like oh that's a big dog or like someone uh like was like oh i think you should stay at the other dog it's just more convenient for you right and i think you're starting to realize like you you can't you can't it's, it's the same thing with like a person right it's like you might have fallen in love with a person but you chose another because of like convenience right I, I don't know why you would go to a farm and like fall in love with the dog and then be like no I can't get that dog because I think it's like oh it's too big or it sheds you know what I mean or you know like there's a reason you're talking yourself out of it right like for convenience sake it's not convenient and then you go and get the dog that you don't really want and I hate to be comparing like people to dogs right now but that's like the only way I can like understand what's going on here right we have all these cards of someone who is not seeing clearly right and is going against their own feelings like you're going against this is someone who went against their own like intuition again ha the best way i think i can explain intuition to the masculines is like exactly how i'm saying it like you go to a park you pick out a dog just based off like the feeling you get right it has nothing to do with like is this dog too big or too small is this the breed that i want or not it's just the fact that like you went to the farm you fell in love with the dog and that's it you know what i mean like that's the dog you want you don't really know why that's the one you want that's just the one you can see yourself with right and there's a masculine here who messed up like straight up they messed up because they chose this other dog let's say right the one that was more convenient the one that was more again it's like this dog sheds and this one's too it's too big like I don't know if this person has kids like all oh, my kids can't like walk this dog is too big like whatever the reasoning behind it was it was all reasoning and it had nothing to do with like the the real anything real like you could have taken the other one right and I think in your head you're like thinking about this other dog or this person it's really a person right we're just doing like this comparison to dogs <laughs> for some reason I think it's just easier for people to understand it when I say like intuition right when you go intuitively or gut feeling wise it's just a feeling right you can't explain why you don't have and you don't have to justify it right like i picked this dog because that's the dog i wanted i don't have to justify i fell in love with the dog that's it right and people understand that but when it comes to like a person people get like all it's different right it's different no it's different like this person's a different culture this person's a different religion like why would you even go talk to that person do you know what i'm saying if they're not you know they're not they're not like us so why would you talk to that person like you put yourself in this predicament in the first place right it's like someone who I, i'm gonna stop with the dog analogies i feel like this masculine whoever is watching this video can understand what the comparison is right like i feel like you can understand what it means to really just be guided towards you know a person uh and i feel like the dog analogy really cleared it up for you so i'm gonna stop with it because i just don't like to compare like i don't want to keep comparing dogs to girl like women that's it doesn't sound right <laughs> but i hope that that cleared it up for you right so that's what's going on here and i feel like this person really they 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 didn't think that they chose the wrong person but here it's like saying short-sightedness and you know someone who like can't see and someone who's struggling with seeing and like it's like someone is struggling so hard right and i think it's outside pressure as well i was saying that with this card it's outside pressure it's like what would people think it's a lot of um bs at the end of the day let's be honest like outside influences what will people think like again it has nothing to do with themselves it has more to do with everyone else right and how it's it's like how could you make a decision based on what everybody else wants i don't know but they are there are people that live a life like that and that's what this person did to be honest and they they're not letting they they like ignored their intuition you know what i mean with the king of air in reverse and the six of swords in reverse uh this is like my awakening card too and like they are they're ignoring it do you see like the integration right and they're ignoring it both times like they're strongly ignoring it like heavily and it conflicts themselves why they did this but like at the end of the day i don't know it was more convenient for this person at the time and they did that so what's going on now i feel like this person made an offer 
to again someone that's not their happiness right like someone who's not it's not what they wanted but they did it anyway right like they presented themselves this other person with an offer but it wasn't it wasn't i don't understand why again it's again going against your intuition going against your own feelings uh seeing things like being short-sighted about a situation right like not seeing things for what they really are and again letting other people influence and they went into the sun in reverse the sun in reverse is you know the sun is the happiest card so you can already uh, see what happened to this person with the sun in reverse right like the offer that they made was not towards what they initially wanted or even thought about but it was you know what they chose right what's interesting is that I feel like they have started already this new beginning with someone else and with the victory card in reverse it's like this is not going to work out the way that this person wants it to right it does not matter how hard this person is going to try right when you're this unaligned from yourself and and this person can feel it too they can feel their the uneasiness within themselves about like how maybe they made a mistake right because there's such mental conflict uh and we have a five and a five yeah so this person's going through it right now i feel like they realize like they chose wrong like i think they knew they were choosing wrong from the beginning but they did it anyway right for whatever reason and they went on this new beginning with someone else and i feel like with the victory card in reverse it's like knowing that this might knowing that this is gonna fail possibly knowing that this is not initially this isn't even what you wanted but this is what you're going for uh why for all the reasons i said like someone's just stuck basically right stuck listening to others this feels like you know just whatever whatever everybody else wants for me i'm gonna do it's all about my image basically it's all about how it looks it has nothing to do with how it feels right so when someone's just disconnected it's not it's not wrong to see it's not hard to see why someone went in the wrong direction and with the king the queen of wands here i feel like this is the other person right like this is the person not the other person this is the person that they chose right this and it could have been a karmic right and what's interesting is that i feel like it lessened the anxiety for a little bit right it lessened the anxiety and i feel like the pressure right like the pressure that people were putting on this person it lessened it in a sense where it was like you know i don't have to feel like this person comes with no strings right like this person it's just so much easier with this person and i feel like this is this king like they're feeling very stable now right it's all about stability it's all about this 3d and what they don't understand is like they put themselves in a very bad situation with the nine of wands and judgment i feel like they put themselves again they set themselves up to fail like they set themselves up to fail but they initially just wanted it to be easy and what they don't understand is like it's going to be harder now than ever right it's going to be harder now than ever to get out of this because i don't know how do you explain to someone that you know that you didn't trust your intuition you didn't trust your gut you didn't go towards what you really wanted like how do you explain that to someone do you know what i'm saying how do you explain to someone that the reason that you went off with them was because maybe it was just more again there's all this 3d right this pentacle energy it's like it just looked good on paper it was good you know and how many men do we know like even just watching movies you see them like pick this lady it's reminding me of mona lisa smiles i don't know if you guys have seen that movie where it's kirsten Dur kirsten dunst <laughs> she marries someone and they have like the worst marriage right because he's like sneaking off all the time to be with someone he like really likes and he just chose her because again that's like a family thing like you know their families had the same amount of wealth and it was like it looked good on paper you know what i mean and i feel like how do you explain to someone that you know what i mean and i feel like for a time it really lessened the anxiety but overall right overall this is not good energy right the sun in reverse the six of swords the six of wands in reverse judgment and the nine of wands right like someone moved very fast too it seems towards this person and now they're just like stuck and what's interesting is that i feel like this sword that's being brought we have we end with the ace of swords twice right so i think like the only way this person can get out of it is by seeing the truth right and being open to a change right and being open to doing things differently and i think 
the main thing is that this person has to go based off feelings, right? With this nine of cups, it speaks about an innate knowing. It speaks about something like on a cellular level. Somebody can feel something. Again, it's a feeling. It's not a logical thing. And we have all the sword energy, right? So I feel like this person, they're really battling with themselves. And I feel like they're really battling with people on the 3D because I think they're also, you have to be proud of what you want. Like, let's just say like you really want... <laughs> To wear green sneakers every day i don't know like lime green sneakers if that's what makes you happy then you should wear them every single day right but like someone is too scared to go buy them because of what people would think of them but they're like that's their favorite color they love it they want to buy it but it's like people are going to think i'm crazy for wearing like lime green sneakers i'm just going to buy like the basic white ones and call it a day right like just being very inauthentic to themselves that's what this person did and i feel like the truth the truth is going to come out right on this whole thing that they set up it's gonna come out and i even see somebody here uh taking off the mask right the interesting thing is like is this person gonna put the mask on and live forever with the mask or are they gonna take it off and like try to move right but i feel like do you see how she's stuck like she's in the earth stuck that's what i'm trying to say like i think the only thing that can really help this person is the divine to help them see you know what they can do now and at this point and what's interesting is that I feel like they're gonna decide to leave like this person shows promise of leaving and i feel like where they're going it's interesting like this hermit card coming out at the very end of everybody's read especially with these masculine energies where they're going on the spiritual journey uh to figure out what the hell happened to figure out what's going on right with them uh they they have a choice right they have a choice but i think it's like the end of them being inauthentic to themselves and causing pain on themselves just for you know <laughs> the benefit of others right like they're in pain but they'll deal with it because it pleases everyone else right and i feel like they're gonna go towards what it is that they truly desire right it's going to become very clear to them and what they don't understand is that i think this path this path right here is actually more work than just going towards someone who again maybe people will have a lot to say you know they have a lot to say about this person but at the end of the day it's no work because they actually genuinely want to be with this person dude you know i'm saying it's no work for them and that's what i'm trying to say like this whole cycle has been so much work for this person and so much mental stress and so much agony and it's for what reason to please others and it's like it hasn't gotten this person anywhere and they they're trying to start something new and it's not going to work out for them do you know what i'm saying because again they went in the wrong direction <laughs> And with the Ten of Cups in reverse and the star, I feel like they they might feel like they might have missed out there on their, like on the opportunity with this other person. They might feel like, you know, this is there's no chance of some sort of reconciliation with this person. And I feel like they're they're also understanding that. But at the end of the day, it's like they have to be authentic to themselves, whether the person is there still or not, like the person that they should have chosen. It's like I have to be authentic to myself. Right. And I think that's the hardest thing when you don't, uh, you know, people move from person to person to person. It's like only, oh, are you single? Oh, you're not dating anyone. Oh, you live like five blocks from me. OK, like this is a match. Right. Meanwhile, like, you know, the person that they really want is very far away. You know what I'm saying? It's like they have to make the harder option. They have to make the sacrifice. They have to do they have to put themselves in a place of instability. Right. And I feel like that's all they craved is like stability, stability, stability. And now like that stability has gotten them stuck. Like I've never seen the Ten of Pentacles like this, but do you see how she's like formed into the earth? Like she cannot move. She's a part of the earth. It's like they're a part of what they created and they're a part of the mess and they're a part of this decision making that went awry. Like everything that they did up to, up to this point, again, they had a chance to move back. They had a chance to fix it here. They had a chance to fix it here. They had a chance to fix it every single step. They were taking these steps. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's the hardest for this person. <sighs> yeah. I mean, I'm not surprised that with dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. That's what's going on. It's like they have to be loyal to themselves. I feel like that's what the sword is. It's their own intuition. It's their own gut. It's like themselves. Their higher self speaking to them, right? Like you have to understand this. It's you that is making these decisions. And it's you who can stop them, right? It's you who can change the way that your life is going if you just, you know, be more authentic to you. Again, be loyal to what you love. Let's see if there's any divine feminines for this, Sag.
So, Sag, I don't know if you guys have, like, listened to The Weeknd, but The Weeknd just put an album out, and I feel like it's interesting because if you look at the comments, there's a lot of people that don't know what his album is about. But his album is essentially about waking up, right? And uh, in the intro, he put Jim Carrey, and I feel like he put Jim Carrey for a reason. Like, everybody knows the controversy with Jim Carrey and the fact that, or maybe, like, not everybody, but I feel like a lot of people in this community, like, the tarot community knows what happened with Jim Carrey, right? And the fact that he's, like, he awoke and ascended and he aligned himself and he really started speaking to people very genuinely and authentically and showing who he really was, like, you know, he is a comedian, but he also has other sides to himself, and he showed that side of himself, and people were like, wow, Jim Carrey really lost his mind, right? Like, the mainstream media is always going to play this person as, like, a villain, right? Like, wow, he really lost it. And even now with The Weeknd, a lot of people are like, wow, The Weeknd really lost his mind with this album. Like, what the hell is this album? Like, they don't understand it. Do you know what I'm saying? But for people who do understand it, it's like, it's so it's so blatantly obvious too, right? It's like so obvious what, what's going on in The Weeknd's life and the reason he put Jim Carrey. And everything in the album makes so much sense, right? To someone who has ascended and awoken. And that's what's going on with this person. This masculine energy is awakening. And it's interesting because it's, again, St. Bridget, Our Lady of Exalted Light. I give endlessly because the light is without end. My soul is all I need. This is like the true awakening card, right? Like someone is getting in connection with their soul. And that's what I'm saying. Like when you're in connection with your soul, you realize like everything before that might have been very inauthentic, <laughs> right? And it makes no sense why you were doing something in the past. And that's what I'm saying. I don't know why I'm bringing up Jim Carrey. I think it's because I feel like, again, there's this very huge mass <laughs> masculine ascension going on and i think that i think again that a lot of people won't understand it and it just how a lot of people are saying the weekend's crazy jim carrey's crazy no they don't understand what's going on and they're going to do that to this person as well so if this is you uh be expectant of that but i feel like if you really reach to a level where you just don't care anymore because i feel like where you were in the past you were just betraying your like others were betraying you and you because and also you betrayed yourself do you know what i'm saying there's a, there's no loyalty in this past cycle loyalty to me is like again i always give this example do you know in the field of dreams when the lady uh the wife her, the husband is like you know you have to go build this field the husband's like i saw uh they told me to build a field and i'm gonna build it and you know, he, she, she, she thinks he's crazy, like that he lost his mind, but then she starts to trust him and believe him and like defend him to everyone's like, oh, that guy in town, he's crazy. Like he's building a field. He's talking to ghosts. You know what I mean? He must've lost his mind and she stays by him. Even if she doesn't understand it, she stands by him. Same thing with like, there's so many stories I could say about like what loyalty is, but it's like not seeing and believing, right? And not knowing what's going to necessarily happen but trusting in yourself right and i feel like that's what's going on with this masculine energy i feel like they're really ascending and i keep getting that in the reads like that the main reason that all this is happening is ascension right truth seeing the light seeing the truth and i'm really proud of this person even though i feel like people are in their family and their life are not going to be proud of them and are going to again talk shit and not understand that just means that you have elevated to a level where you you need to be with people who are now at your level do you get what i'm saying and it sucks because there's a lot of people that you leave behind because they don't understand what's going on they don't understand what, what you're doing do you know what i'm saying and <laughs> uh yeah it stinks but it just it for me it's it's progress so congratulations sag I love you guys. I hope this resonates and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.